Welcome to Money Matters. I'm Alicia Davis in New York. Now, automakers all around the country are scaling back, largely a result of the tough economy and high gas prices. Well, one change that consumers are seeing is automakers are pulling back on lease options. So what does this mean for you? Well, to tell us, we're joined by Sergio Stieberman. He is the CEO of LeaseTrader.com. Sergio, thanks for joining us today. Hi, Alicia. Thank you for having me. So recently, several of the car companies, including Chrysler Financial, Ford, and GM, have announced that they will either cut their leasing division or significantly cut back on the number of leases they write. Tell us about these changes. Well, you know, as leasing, you have to understand that not all vehicles, you know, makes, it, I guess for the consumer, it doesn't make sense to lease all the vehicles out there. You have to actually choose and, you know, what vehicles make sense to you. And leasing, it's all based on, you know, the projected value of that vehicle three or four years down the road. So the way the economic times are going through, that we're going through, I guess, it's very difficult for consumers to project what the vehicles are going to be worth and, you know, and, and uh, manufacturers alike. So, um, you know, the vehicles that you're going to be able to, I guess, lease and have good, good leasing terms are going to be um, the ones with good residual values. So this pullback in leasing, it does have to do with the tough economy that we're in right now. That's why it's happening now. Well, you know, you're going through a little uncertain times where manufacturers are having a hard time projecting the value of vehicles, especially you know, the SUV categories and the truck categories. So, um, you know, the vehicles that make sense for them to lease are going to be, you know, either the uh, four-cylinder, six-cylinders, or the popular cars. All right, so what is a consumer to do? Well, you know, as consumer, you always have options, and you have to evaluate all the options that are available to you. You know, number one, if you're looking to get into a lease, you know, lease gives you, um, you know, the ability to pay less uh, for more car and what you pay for is the use of that vehicle so in a way you know you're making you know smaller monthly payments at the end of the turn you go to give the vehicle back to the leasing company or you know the, the manufacturer now um, as a consumer what it gives you is just the same options that you you had once before um, what ends up happening is the leasing company and the manufacturers are the ones that have to figure out which vehicle makes sense for them to lease or not all right, and three million people's leases expire this year. So what does this mean for them? Well, you know, leasing, in a way, it's a lifestyle. And you have to see it as such. People that lease vehicles are people that, you know, like to change cars often. So in a way, those people, those individuals, are going to go back to the dealers or manufacturers, and they're going to want to get back into leasing. Once you've experienced the leasing lifestyle, which, in a way, it allows you to change cars and you know more often than if you bought a car because if you bought a car you're committing yourself to maintaining and keeping that vehicle for a minimum of four to five years if you're the type of person that you know like to change cars you know every three years or less you know leasing is still going to probably be the best for you now previously what percentage of consumers lease as opposed to buying the vehicle well, on average, um, you know, if you if you take all of the vehicle types and all the manufacturers out there, about 20% of the uh, of the consumer lease versus buy. In the um, in the more expensive uh, vehicles like the Lexuses, the Mercedeses, and the BMWs, 90%, um, you know, as high as 90% of the people lease versus buy. Now, what kinds of trends is leasetrader.com seeing right now during this tough economy? What's happening in the market out there? Well, the beautiful thing about Lease Trader is that it allows people to just exercise options. So, in a way, you have individuals that are currently in leases and they're looking to either exit, exchange, uh, you know, change their car, get into something else altogether. So, uh, leasing offers you, I guess, most leases in a way offers you the opportunity to transfer that contract to another party and that's where Lease Trader comes in. Um, Lease Trader Marketplace, um, we match people looking to exit their leases or their contracts with credit qualified buyers who look to take them over. Now what are the most popular vehicles to lease right now? Are they those luxury vehicles, the Lexus? Um, you know, Lexus is of course are in the top 10. Um, you know, number one, it's the BMW 3 Series. Uh, number two is the uh, Mercedes C Series, and I believe in somewhere in the top five is the Mini Cooper, which is a pretty popular car out there right now.